Welcome to Nightline. We're so glad you've tuned in tonight. Now listen, put the, put the remote down. I know there's a lot going on and there's a lot on that television, but you don't know, need to go anywhere. Let me tell you why. Tonight my guest are Linda Gunter. You know her from the Love Him, Love Them Haitian Children's Choir. We're going to be talking about the kids and, and then Miranda is with us, one of the kids. You'll see her tonight singing, but she's on the set with us tonight as well. Uh, she's now fourth grade and we're just so thrilled to have her. And you know we're thrilled to have you. We really, really are. And uh, we're here praying for you tonight. You may hear something that will change your life. It may be that a child's life will touch your life. And uh, we'll be listening to Linda telling you all about what's going on, particularly what's in Haiti right now, what's going on. She'll be sharing that with you and lots of ways you can get involved. Our scripture goes tonight from where we always go, James chapter 1, verse 27. Religion, religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself unstained by this world. James chapter 1, verse 27. By the way, that's the half-brother of our Lord uh, who wrote those words. Let's not forget. Remember, prayer partners are standing by. You see the telephone number right here? Yeah, if you'll go to your phone right here. Am I right where it needs to be, Scott? Maybe a little bit higher. 864-244-1616. Listen, you, you can go to that number and call, and there are going to be people here who are going to say, Nightline, welcome to Nightline. We're praying for you. Yeah, we love you. We, 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 know, we don't know you, okay? But uh, as born-again believers, we love you in the Lord. And if you don't know the Lord Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, it may be that you can ask a prayer partner. I'd like to know more about how Christ Jesus can be my Lord and Savior. We'd love for you to ask that question. It really would. Always prayer partners are needed. We would appreciate hearing from you. We really would. But thanks so much for letting us be part of your evening tonight. And I'll promise you, um, you can talk about the World Series, but let me just tell you something. We got the world here. I just want you to know, at least part of the world from the, from the island, from the Caribbean. So don't you go anywhere. All right, now you're going to love the music. This is tape. I wish the kids were here. Merlinda's here, but the kids are not. Okay, I want you to know that. So we're, you're seeing a tape that goes back, I believe, Linda, to 2018. The Love Him, Love Them Choir Sings. You deserve it. Sing for us, kids.
I get to host a lot of programs and I'm so very grateful and I love all of our guests. Uh, we have great guests, as you well know. But I have to say there's something about having the Love Him, Love Them Children's Choir to have Linda Gunter. Uh, we've been together now. Oh, how, I how, we're married. Well, I mean, how, <laughs> how, how, My television husband. I mean, how long have we been doing this uh, like now? 46 years. I mean, we have, I mean, we have been doing this for so long, and I will never forget the first time the choir came, and I thought, oh, my, my, I mean, my heart melted, and, and, I, and I loved them. I, Your heart I, melted so much you gave us money for ice cream when we left. Well, I, I, maybe I did. Do you did. remember that? Whenever you came back on the bus and said, go take those kids and get them some ice cream. And I hope she did, and, you know, if not, I'll make sure you get M&Ms and all that kind of good stuff. But anyway, Linda Gunter's with us. Her husband, David, isn't with us. He's back in Livonia taking care of the other kids. Uh -huh. uh, there. Yeah, partnership. And yeah, well, that's the way you do it. But anyway, this dear lady, uh, you know, she's been with us and she, how the Lord used you. And I mean, I know so many of our folks know you, but quick before we get into questions and talking about it, tell our people once again, wait a minute, Merlinda, I, don't you just love this child? Let's get a close up of her, uh, Sarah Beth. Yeah, there. <laughs> Look at her. I'm telling you what. I, listen, if I was nine years old, you'd be my no, girl. No, Ten? No, no, we're not doing 11, it, girl. No, 35. Be, I would be your boyfriend. <laughs> I just want you to know, okay? Oh, my. I'm just, she's precious. She and is precious, but we're not doing boyfriends, we're, right? So, we're, yeah, you're smart. Yeah. We're, glad that, we're glad you're here, honey, tonight. She's going to be sharing with us, so don't go anywhere. But uh, tell, our folks, uh, most of them should know you, but uh -huh. in a nutshell, in a nutshell, tell them who Linda Gunter is and love him, love them. So in a nutshell, Linda Gunner is a girl who had a best friend, and my best friend was tragically murdered. And through that murder, uh, I ended up with her five kids. And her five kids happened to be Haitian. And so out of selfishness and wanting the five kids that I had taken into my home to be a little more grateful to me, I decided to take them to Haiti and kind of, you know, thinking that when they came back, they'd be like, oh, Mommy Linda, you're so amazing. Thank you for keeping us. <laughs> Uh, and instead, God completely wrecked my world. And uh, actually, I met Merlinda on that trip. That yeah. was in 2011 mm. and went to a place where she was living and 29 other children. And it was Christmas Day. And I got to hear them sing the same, uh, kind of the same way you just heard them sing. They weren't in costumes. They were running around half dressed mm -hmm. and no shoes and in a place with no running water and no electricity. and. Mm. Uh, Jesus Christ messed me up that day. He mm -hmm. literally tapped me on the shoulder. Thank God and he did. As I watched children who had not one material thing to be grateful for, uh, they had actually no circumstances to be happy about. They had lost their family's uh, primary caregivers in the earthquake, and yet they stood before me and sang with a joy of the Lord that I'd never seen before. And Jesus basically tapped me on the shoulder and said, you know, Linda, I'd like for you to look at these kids. This is the joy of the Lord. Amen. No matter what your circumstances are. And Linda, you ain't got it. <laughs> <laughs> and I left that orphanage that day and all I could think was, you know, somebody needs to bring those kids to the United States. And I told the man that brought us there, I said, you know, you're probably not going to believe this, but people in the United States have everything they need. They do. Most of them have everything they want, mm -hmm. but they ain't happy. <laughs> they don't no, have they any don't, joy. They, no, they go complain right. about something. Everything. And uh, so fast forward, and this is all in our first book, Peanut Butter yeah. Crackers and Flip Flops. And you need to get that book. Yeah. If not Amazon, you can go on the website, keep talking. Yeah, it's, it'll it's make okay. you laugh and it it'll will. make you cry. It's great. Uh, mm -hmm. But lo and behold, 2016, those 30 children got on a Delta flight and uh, came to the United States of America. And exactly what happened to me as I sat there on that urine stained day bed holding my jean that first time in 2011, mm. that's exactly mm, what happened mm, to mm, every mm. single audience that we sang for and shared for. Mm -hmm. uh, on our last tour alone, we had over 875 salvations yeah. Yeah. because these children's hearts were so pure. Uh, actually, we have a new book that's your, we're just now debuting it here on your show. It's called uh, choir of Angels. Choir of Angels. Okay. 30 there orphans and how they change their world. Oh, and my. they not only change their world because now 22 of those children are currently living here in the United States of America. Yeah. They're here like Merlando on a student visa or they're in the process of being adopted. 
Uh, so their worlds changed, but not only did they change their worlds, everywhere they went, mm -hmm. whatever their world was, mm -hmm. changed. They changed the east and when I was there, changed, changed our world. folks. Yep, changed the, if they <laughs> stayed in a host family overnight, they, those people were changed forever. If they yep. prayed for you, we had, you know, alcoholics that were uh, healed they completely. Were. Over, actually, we're on tour right now. We just had blind eyes open. When was that? Like two weeks ago? When Rodolfo and Belinda prayed? Yeah. yeah, and the lady's eyes uh, opened right, right there in front of us. So yeah. uh, very, very interesting. So the name of our organization is Love Him, Love Them. Mm -hmm. It's the Bible in one sentence. And we basically serve widows and orphans in mm -hmm. Georgia and in the country of Haiti. And, you know, it, it, Linda's been with us several times, but there's, it's always so fresh of everything that's going on, and we're so grateful. And we'll be talking about so many of you, uh, again, from Appalachia, El Bethel, have helped us out with yes. some of these wonderful blankets. Yes. Uh, and, 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 you know, uh, Elaine Lassiter really went to bat for, for us uh, with a lot of those uh, blankets, uh, Linda. She's at Appalachia. Yeah. So and she just... Elaine? Elaine Lassiter. She, she is, is a Talk about a saint. gift. I mean, she, I mean, she is. And she, wow. uh, Mary Baker uh, made a couple for us there. And many others. I'm, I'm not meaning to overlook anyone's yeah. name, but those two stand out. Now, talk to me about what's going to, how the children are doing in Haiti right now. Well, they're not mm. doing in Haiti mm. right now because uh, July the 27th, the president of Haiti was assassinated. Right. Uh, then we fast forward to August 14th, there was a 7.2 magnitude earthquake mm -hmm. that took out the, Haiti looks like this, there's a little mm -hmm. part that sticks right. out, that's Jeremy, that all has been cut off. Uh, and then since then, we've had 19 gangs that have taken over the community. So actually the 400 Mawazu gang, which is the top, one of the top two gangs, that's who has currently mm -hmm. kidnapped the 17 right. Americans. Uh, one of their headquarters is 300 meters from one of our orphanages. Now, where in where is the hospital? Is, are things safe there? The hospital? No, things no. are not safe there. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just four, maybe five weeks ago. Uh, mm. I mean, I, I don't know how much of this you want to know, and I don't know how much of this is relevant for your listeners because it's it's really made me think I'm living in a movie. Yeah. Um, the same way pastors were not trained on how to deal with their congregations for COVID. Right. I don't feel like I've had enough training to know how to deal with gangs, and yet that's the position I've been forced into. Mm -hmm. uh, we were approached five weeks ago by the same gang that mm -hmm. has the Americans and told if we didn't uh, put them on our budget, they were going to burn our hospital down. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Mommy Linda... <laughs> I bet you did, girl. I don't know who you think I you're talking bet, to, I but uh, I, I need to know where your mama is. That, mm -hmm. that was my first yeah. response. Yeah. And uh, then we had a very unfortunate incident two weeks after that while we were trying to figure out what to do where our ambulance, one of, we have two ambulances mm -hmm. because we opened a hospital, Benny, in mm -hmm. the middle of a global pandemic. I think it's great. <laughs> that's, that's where these blankets are going because I think it's in the great. country of yeah. Haiti, unlike America, in America, all babies come home in that they same little home. blanket. That's right. That's but right. in Haiti, when they come in, yeah. in Haiti, they don't even know what they're having. They yeah. don't know if they're having a girl or a boy yeah. or twins or triplets. Right. And so, uh, so they don't bring any clothes. Right. And so that's for right. our for our babies that are born in our hospital to be able to walk out in handmade yeah. blankets from somebody in South Carolina. And a whole lot of love went yes. into that too. I'm yeah. sure she prayed every stitch. Well, Hold I yours mean, up. You Look know, how cute yours and, is. And uh, pink. You know, that'd have to be for a girl. Wouldn't it be for a girl? Well, you know, I mean, it's so funny yeah. you say that. I just had a picture sent to me Good. of a boy okay. that was born in our hospital. Okay. okay. And he was all wrapped up in a pink outfit. <laughs> And I showed it to our to one of our, our kids that are here in America. And I said, look at this. I said, can you believe they put that little boy in a pink outfit? And you know what he said? Oh, he looked right back at me and he said, Mommy Linda, he's got some clothes on, doesn't he? That's right. Well, And, and that's you know, all that matters. And see, thing, you and I, I thought, wouldn't think like oh, that. I, thought, I mean, oh you know, goodness. honestly, we would not think that way. No. And yet, uh, you know, the, the ministry continues uh, mm. despite the fact Oh, absolutely. That, uh, you know, w listen, Satan is alive and well mm -hmm. in this country, as yes. we well know, in Haiti, you got that right. all I'm over sorry. the world. You got that right. I mean, and that's our job. Our job is to stand firm. Uh, again, I've been placed in positions. I was just on a phone call this afternoon with Intel. I mean, I'm dealing with the same people that are going to Afghanistan and getting people out of yeah. Afghanistan. And we're literally setting up 
plots and plans on if we need to get, I mean, it's just, yeah. it's, it's, an, it's a crazy situation right now. Yeah. And especially we're at a pivotal moment. Uh, <clears throat> our hospital, along with 40 others, uh, have sent letters to both the United States and the uh, Haitian government and said, look, mm -hmm. there, I mean, there's no fuel in Haiti right now. If you can find fuel, it's 25 uh, U.S. dollars a gallon. Imagine. That's oh. how we operate the generators. That's how we operate mm -hmm. the hospital. So the hospital, there will be 40 hospitals this week yeah. that mm -hmm. if the fuel's not released, we will shut down. And Haiti. you see, this is why people, listen to me, this is why you, you, you need to give right. uh, to the Love Him, Love Them uh, organization. All right? From time to time, you'll see that name up there and, and how you can give. You can go to their website. You can call Linda on the phone or go to, to www.lovehimlovethem.org. Uh, or to Linda at lovehimlovethem.org. Give a call, 706-599 or 7525, or uh, write the snail well. From time to time, that'll be up there. And yet, you know, folks, you know, come on, we're blessed. Even though we're paying a whole lot for gasoline, think yeah, about if it were... Yeah. $10, $20 a gallon. Right. Come and on, not give available. Me a break. That's the problem. Yeah. It's not available. And, and, so and the same way with food. We've had we've had some of our orphanages go three and four days with no food. Yeah. We've got food in some certain containers, but when there's no fuel, you can't get the fuel out no. to the locations. And you can't and get it in the truck to get the truck over there with the or food. Or to get past the gangs. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's just... Uh, yeah. Unbelievable. And so, and you know, the other part that's a little difficult too is the kids that are here in America. It's difficult for them emotionally. I have one uh, boy that's at UNG. <clears throat> He's yeah. a sophomore there, and he said, "You know, Mommy Linda, do you, I can't begin to tell you what it was like to sit in my class the other day yeah. while they were talking about how Haitians." had taken 17 Americans. Mm -hmm. He said, and I'm sitting there in the class and I'm the representative <laughs> Haitian. And you know, I don't yeah. do that. I'm not in a gang. Yeah. I don't act that way. He said, but it's been extremely uncomfortable I, I and very know. emotional to think of what sure. my brothers and sisters are going sure. through in Haiti sure. while I'm sitting here trying to learn communication or right. statistics or physics. Right. So we've had, we've had a lot of challenges. Yeah. And you know, the thing about the Lord's work, we'll continue to have until yes. Jesus comes. And David once said. this is solved, there'll be something <laughs> else, That's something right. else and something right. else. Mm -hmm. And I got to ask this question, though, but since we're on that. I mean, how's the staff handling all this violence that's down there? Mm -hmm. What do you hear? Is Paul, Pastor Paul, still down there? Yes. Uh, okay. And so, and that's one of the places that they are under quarantine from 5 p.m. till 7 a.m. Okay. They cannot leave. And yet they can hear the gunshots in the streets. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. So uh, there's no fuel to go back and forth to school. So, I mean, you know, that's the other thing. As a mom, you really want your kids to go to school, sure. right? Sure, <laughs> So sure, when now sure. you're under lockdown and you can't leave, and there's something about being told that you can't leave that makes you want to leave, makes right? Wanna, that's right. Uh, and then, Human of course, nature. we have our head ministers that are, there's about 15 of them that are our staff in Haiti. Everybody in Haiti that runs our ministry is Haitian with the exception of one American. But I'm going to tell you, it's wearing down. It has to. It's wearing down on them. We've got f a few to. that are having blood pressure issues. Uh, and one of, one of the pastors called me the other day and said, I went to the doctor. He told me I have a blood pressure. Listen to this. And he said that my remedy was I needed to go home, rest, not watch the news, and listen to Christian music. <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> go doctor. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> right. So, I can't watch the news here. Yeah, exactly. uh, Even on my favorite channel, I can't. Right. So anyway, but you know, folks, really, I, I mean, the, the, we know the world is, is a tough place. You know, as I said to you the other day, he's got the whole world in his hands. But you know what he's done? He's taken his hands off and he brought COVID. He allowed COVID into this world. And he's so unhappy with this world. Listen, this is Shaking nothing it. new. Just read the book of Genesis mm -hmm. and you can see what All happened to place. Noah. And hey, 120 years, Noah tried to get in their attention, didn't listen. So, so he's got the whole world in his hands, but right now, and you know, um, it's our prayer that, you know, God's going to continue using you folks. I mean, you know, it's... There's so many hot spots in the world today, Correct. you know, in the Caribbean, Latin America. I mean, there mm -hmm. are. And yet, <clears throat> you're listening to someone who's on the front lines. Mm -hmm. and you A little more than I wanted to be. Yeah, but hey, that's God's way. Hey, right now, love him, love them kids. It is to you. Come on, kids.
<clears throat> I hope you enjoyed that. So, Mike, I um, <laughs> love you, dear. And I have not forgotten you. I, I, honest, I want you to know that. We'll save that conversation for a little bit later. But right now, Mirlanda's here. Oh, my goodness. I want to know. Tell them your name and tell them what, what grade you're in and tell them what school you go to. My name is Rhonda. I go to Burns Academy in, ninth, in fourth grade. In the fourth grade. And the fascinating thing about this sweet girl, is when she came in 2016, she didn't speak any English. No. <laughs> I mean, she, uh, did, did, you, did, did you know how to say yes and no and things like that? Yeah, maybe. No, I don't really remember that. <laughs> but I, you see, I remember when you came here for the first time with the choir, I just was enamored with. And so now tell me, I want to know, here you are in Livonia, Georgia, living with Mommy Linda and David. What are you doing for, for, the, what are you doing for Haiti? To We're singing to raise oh. money to send back for the, um, my brothers and sisters in Haiti. Okay, and, uh, and two, uh, have you been yet to the hospital over there? You've been here ever since. Have you been back to see what the work was like? I haven't been to the hospital, but last, but last year I went with Mama Linda great. to the guest, to the my father's guest house. Did, did mm -hmm. you really? Mm -hmm. That's great. That's and great. we went to the did we go to the embassy? Yes. Went to the U.S. embassy. Okay. We had some paperwork we had to do. Okay. And so she's here with us on, with a student visa, mm -hmm. and uh, and you know and. Right. Are you the smartest person in your class? Yeah. Are you, oh, yeah. I, I, are you making, I mean, A's, straight A's? Yeah. If, if I ask you, if Pastor Benny asks you, when you get to be Mama Linda's age or younger, what would you like to do once you get out of high school and the university? What would you like to do or be? Well, tell me, baby. See, I have always wanted to be a dancer. Okay. And I say I will go back to Haiti and see I can help them. Yes. And are you taking dance classes now? Yeah. How's that going for you? Good. What are you doing? Tap, jazz, ballet? What kind of dance? Jazz. Are you good? Mm -hmm. I bet you're great at it too. I am. And uh, you just <laughs> she just performed. Uh, where were we this past Saturday? Um, at the fair. At the fair. I wish I had known that. And I want you to know, folks, these aren't scripted uh, questions, by the way. Tell them what else you, what that big thing that happened at the fair that what nobody happened? else had. Yeah, what happened? Uh, oh, what happened? They drew her name oh, and yeah. she. And I won a bike. You won a bike? At the fair. Come on. <laughs> really, did <laughs> you? <Yeah. laughs> wow. I mean, and. Uh, you deserve that, sweetheart. So, so near you ride your bike near Mommy Linda's house and around the neighborhood. Yeah, I have been riding the bike. Okay, good girl. You be careful, don't fall. I love your earrings. Can uh, I wonder if we could, uh, uh, Mr. Director, let's get a real close up of those earrings on this pretty uh, young lady, Mer uh, Merlinda's ear. Can we get up, uh, Sarah? Beth, can you get close on one of those earrings? Mm -hmm. Stay right there, honey. Don't move. There you go. Now look at that beautiful earring. Now, Rolanda, tell me, what kind of jewelry is that? Uh, a precious emerald? What kind? Of, what? What? Uh, what kind of jewelry are you wearing? It's dress. <laughs> the girls' jewelry, but it's made out of trash. It's made out of trash. And you where do they make that? Where do they make it? In the orphanage. In the orphanage. Do you know some of the girls that make it? Oh, on um, um, Michelin, Bianca, Bianca um, Corinne, Corinne, Stephanie, and you yeah. see, and folks, you understand that when you give uh, to this organization, you see what's happening. Not only are they able to make this beautiful jewelry, Linda, Linda has a lot of it on, have it on the tree. You see, they're able to sell that. They will make some more money. And listen. If you don't know in this day and age what it costs to raise just one youngin, <laughs> boy, have I got a story for you. Yeah. And, uh, 
And so uh, we've you know, got actually, I was going to say, Benny, we're debuting these tonight. This is the first time these have been available. Oh, so we're calling goodness. these the Star of Bethlehem. Okay. We and these are the exact same beads that the girls you make uh, mm -hmm. for the Beauty that. for Ashes jewelry line, okay. and they are available on our website tonight for the very first time. Okay. So we have these adorable yeah. stars, mm -hmm. and then we also have crosses. We have icicles. We have uh, candy canes, mm -hmm. and these are all, again, tonight is the first time they've been available, so they're on our website, and they start out anywhere from $7.50 all the way up to $20. And, you know, and you can <clears throat> put that on your tree, folks. And, uh, you, you know, and, and again, not only are you decorating your tree, but you're decorating the life of a child somewhere exactly. in Haiti. Exactly. Come right. on. We have 187 women in Haiti, and actually, even though... The gangs are in control right yeah. now and everything is shut down. We have them in a secluded location where they are continuing to make these because I told them, look, it's Christmas That's in right. America. That's <laughs> we right. got to have these ornaments before uh, Thanksgiving. That, uh, so they might be trying to shut the country down, but we're not shutting down Beauty uh, for uh, Ashes. No, no, so no, no, they no. are still continuing to make these beads for these ornaments, mm -hmm. and these are available. There are mm -hmm. our limited supply. We only have 200 of each. Let's and so, for... again, they are on that website. We'd love, for, we'd love to sell those out tonight so that, you know, you could do your whole tree in it. I'd love to have churches that would do a tree. Yeah. Uh, yeah. to, uh, what a, an amazing way to support Haiti mm, with your tree and, and then mm, and mm, also mm, if you get just one ornament to be able to put on your tree and then as you look at it it would remind you to pray for our girls that are there but that's an amazing thing that, is that it provides a job yes, yes right so it's not just a handout right. they're actually working right. and through this employment they're able to care for their families they're able to have homes they're able to care for their children uh, so it's a it's a great way and they're beautiful a beautiful they, they, way to, it, to decorate your tree is or it's also Lisa true. told me tonight that I should mention yes. that you could use them as uh, on a package she said if you're giving someone a gift yes. then you tie it on the bow yeah. and then also there's a little card that comes with it that tells the story of our girls that make it so you would tie this into the bow and then you give it as part of your gift because we don't have a supply chain shortage or whatever that thing is they're talking about we've got ours <laughs> So you can have them for Christmas. <laughs> we, we don't know what it is here either. We yeah. we just know there's a vernacular somewhere. Right. But listen, you you can be part of. All right, now let's fast forward a little bit because you got something coming up. It's going to be Thanksgiving oh, yeah. soon before we realize it. Right around the corner. And so talk to Four us about out. what's coming up with the Love Him Love Them. Uh, kids and choir and program. Tell us about right. that. So Merlanda, do you remember last year? Actually, how many girls do you have coming to help? Who did you tell me was coming? My friends. Right. Graceland's coming and Rihanna? Yeah. Okay. So how old are they? Brianna's 11 and Graceland's 10. Okay. So Great. we have okay. 10 and 11 year olds okay. that will be there helping Great. all the way up to my mom will be there helping. She's 84. So we will be feeding 3,000 homeless, hopeless, great? and homebound individuals on Thanksgiving Day because mm -hmm. we know that it's on the specific holiday when you're by yourself. That's when the suicides happen. That's right. when the depression sets in. Right. So can you imagine having someone like Merlanda pop up at your mm -hmm. door on Thanksgiving Day? Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry about that, babe. Mm -hmm. With a uh, hot meal. Now we not only deliver the meal, we deliver whatever the person needs. Right. So we personally interview, and Merlanda, you've been a part of this, where we go out and we interview everybody. She's helped me fill out the forms. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you need? What we have 24 hour prayer team, those 24 hours ahead of when we deliver. Uh, last year we had all kind of healings take place. So there are multiple ways you can volunteer. Um, you can actually, we have a volunteer number that you can call into, which is if you will text LHLT, which are the first four letters of our ministry, LHLT, love mm -hmm. him, love them, mm -hmm. to the number 706-719-7525. You are then automatically on our volunteer list and you will get every single thing that needs to happen with that. Um, so we're still looking for cranberry sauce holders. I know we're still looking for pet food. We, we also, we find that a lot of homeless people would give their Thanksgiving meals to their dogs and cats. So we, were, we mm -hmm. stopped that a couple of years ago and we started bringing uh, pet food, cat food, dog food. Do you remember the other stuff we bring? Blankets. Blankets. Yeah. And... We brought edge, them, mm. laundry detergent. Oh, yeah. yeah cloth, beds. Beds. Yeah. Yeah. We've given away cars. We've given away homes. Uh, we've had people's lawns done. So what a great thing. If you cannot actually come and deliver on the day of mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, that's mm -hmm. fine. 
there are plenty of things leading up to that week. And then the another amazing thing that makes this an international mission opportunity for your family is on Saturday after Thanksgiving, we will be packing 20 thousand meals mm -mm. that will go to Haiti. Listen to that. Rice right. and beans. Listen. Uh, it's a, an amazing operation. We partner with our organization Feed the Hunger and those 20,000 meals. And this is the part I think that's really cool. Merlanda will be there. Samaika will be there. Rodafka will be there. So you can actually, if you can't come to that, you can sponsor a box. So $30, your family can sponsor a box to Haiti. And we have girls here that speak Creole and write Creole. Mm. You can have your kids come draw a picture. Mm. They can tell you how to write Merry Christmas, Joie Noël. They can tell you how to write it in Creole. So you'll be actually writing notes in with the rice and beans that our children in Haiti will be eating. You can be the one that packs that. That is a, that is always a sold out event and it doesn't cost anything, but we have volunteers. And you've been love. doing this how many years on Thanksgiving? How long has this been going on? Uh, this is our 12th year. 12th year? 12th year. And that started with, uh, <laughs> again, me getting mad about something. <laughs> when I first started making meals for <laughs> those five kids, I mean, I'd never cooked Thanksgiving meal for a family before like that. And they came to the table and ate it in like five minutes. And I was like, <laughs> I've spent five days cooking this. Somebody needs to sit back down at this table. And plus we had all the leftovers and I yeah. thought, this is, and then everybody left and went up to their rooms. I was like, no, we're not doing this. So I went out to the garage and got some to-go containers filled up with all the leftovers, mm -hmm. called everybody back down, threw them in the car. And our first year that we delivered Thanksgiving meals, which wasn't planned, we delivered mm -hmm. 15 plates. Mm -hmm. We just drove through the housing authority and found people that Dave. were not having a Thanksgiving meal. And that's how that started mm -hmm. 12 mm -hmm. years ago with 15 mm -hmm. plates. Mm -hmm. And now we're up to 3,000. And we mm -hmm. also, this year is gonna be really cool because we're not so strict on COVID. Yeah. We will be serving the meal that's great. That's at that the women's good. prison that's great. so 450 inmates we're gonna have the opportunity to come and share right. the gospel with the girls that will sing wonderful. volunteers can come and do that uh, just it's it's a gr it's the best way you can spend your Thanksgiving and, and you know and again you may or may not can get down there to, to Livonia Georgia but you can pray of course and you can give uh, right, we and, have sponsorship opportunities and, and you know again you, you see the information is up there on the screen from time to time you know, we don't put that up there any more than we put these numbers here for, for, our, for you to call our prayer partners. Many of you have done that. We want you to continue doing that tonight, okay? And it might just be that uh, when you see that number up there, that uh, when you call our local number, you may want to say, hey, tell me a little bit more. Uh, t and hey, our folks will tell you, prayer partners will tell you. But more than that, folks, you, I, I, Linda and I have talked about uh, missions so many times. You know, you can, this is what missions is all about. Right. You can go on mission trips and you, you don't even have to leave the comfort of your right. home. Exactly. I mean, think about that because you've got precious <sighs> kids like Mirlanda and you've got precious kids, Zemaika, and all those folks mm -hmm. uh, there. At your, how many do you have at your house now? We have none. But the best part about Thanksgiving is mm. everything we do, we've always done it around our family. Yeah. And so that's our goal. So yeah. moms, if, you, if you're if you like me and you got mm. mad after you cooked all that time and then mm. it just seemed like nobody was really thankful mm -hmm. for anything, I can promise you, if you bring your children to one of these events, any part of it mm -hmm. where they're pulling the turkeys, you know, we have guys, Benny, that cook all night long. There's probably 50 sure. guys that will cook those 200 turkeys. Mm. This is a, a way to provide community. It's, it's kingdom mentality. Mm -hmm. It's churches, right. different denominations coming together, right. and it's it's unification. It's what it's it's God's kingdom at work here on earth, right. and then going out to serve the least of these right, right here. And right. when you start raising your children up in that, and they get to see that there yes. are places. I mean, I'll never forget when our kids from Haiti, because people in Haiti think America is yeah. amazing everywhere. Land of milk. And yeah, milk. and whenever they started to see, oh my goodness, there are people that don't live in houses there you know but for our children here in America to see that they need to know mm -hmm. that there are children in their schools that need help Absolutely. and 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 you know that's where the the rubber hits the road is when our little kids come back and mm -hmm. say mommy Linda these people Sorry. need help we need to figure out a way and then that's when their minds start mm -hmm. working about how to be the kingdom of God yeah. and how to help others and and you know uh, again as you hear uh, hear Linda uh, talking uh, you, you understand how you can be a part of this. Mm -hmm. And it, you may say, well, well, I've never. Well, why not make this your first year? Mm 
Right. And then it may be easier the second and the third and fourth year. And, and again, many of you listening tonight, you may say, well, I, well, I, I want to make, I want to make some uh, uh, things for the baby, blankets for the babies. Make them, <laughs> make them. And come on, bring them by. It's just like, you know, mm. uh, Elaine has done, as we were talking about that, you know, Elaine has made several. Uh, last time you were here, she sent some, and we had a couple more that we didn't get taken that time with her. Others have brought them. Listen, you can help. You can do it right now for these precious kids who are singing, Trust in You. Come on, kids, sing for us, choir.
And, and thank you, kids. We love you so. Now, remember, come on, prayer partners are standing by. You need to go to that telephone. Yes, you do. The number's right there. Now, we don't put it for decoration. We put it there for you to go and call and say, we want to pray with you. We want to encourage you. It might be that you you just want to say, I'm praying for Linda Gunter and those Amen. precious children in Haiti. Maybe that's all you need to do. But go to that telephone. Make those precious pair, prayer partners that we dearly love, uh, work. make them work. I mean, Larry, I know Larry's back there. Is, is uh, uh, Brandy, who, is ever, who's back there? We've got three or four back there they're like make I know Mary is make them work come on go to that phone you know what here's but, another thing I'm going to tell them they can call about we the brand new book that uh, you guys are the first ones that are getting the opportunity to get that uh, which is the choir of angels uh, tells the story about the things that happened while we were on the choir tour so normally what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas but we're letting it Mercy. all out of the bag on here <laughs> talks about how these kids change lives so tonight yes. if you will email me to linda at lovehimlovethem.org. I will send you your very own free copy of the ebook of all of the stories of what happened. Now, folks, come on. Now, so, you need to do free. that. Now, and I know a lot of folks, now listen, to, for those of you who watch faithfully who do not own a computer, we okay. understand, or an iPad, you wait, you can call, and sure. when the hard copy comes out, uh, you can you can purchase that, all right? Or if you say, listen, I was watching the night you announced it, uh, maybe Linda will autograph that and get it to you in the mail. Yeah, so, absolutely. Call in and just, like, just yeah, leave me a note. Because, we'll you know, be glad we, to I mean, that. we understand. I, I want you to. It'll change your life. I, I, listen, the kids change your life. Right. And when you put it on paper, you can read it and reread yes. it and reread it. Yes. I, I hope indeed that you will. We've been talking tonight uh, to uh, Linda Gunter and Marylanda uh, all the way from Haiti, and now she's growing up on us. You were for, you were like kindergarten when you came here, right, honey? That'd be right, right? Five because we've been here the oh, summer no. the summer of 2016. So you've been what five, sweetie? Yeah. Okay. All right. And we, you know, what we thought the first year, my husband was like, you know what? Those those little kids in the front, Linda, they're not. They're five years old, Linda. What are you going to do with them? <laughs> and he said, why don't we just get a little piano bench and we'll stick the piano bench uh, out in the front. We'll give them some of those maracas <laughs> and they can sit on the front because you know they're not going to remember the words. Merlanda and semi uh, seamen. But Washington, they were. They, they were, never sat down. They were great. They knew the songs better than the big kids, they didn't you? They were great. Exactly. You I mean, you know, and. And, uh, you know, it, it, Jesus said it best. It's the little children oh, they're going to teach you. They're we could have just you. had that front row. Yeah. Remember how everybody thought Zachary was Michael Jackson? How he would dance and <laughs> go all the way down or to the end. Pick, yeah, he, they, they stole. I kind of felt bad for the older kids yeah. because once you saw yeah. the front row, yeah. nobody really ever paid attention to the big kids, did they? But, but you know what? The thing is that we just, we, we love you so much, honey. Let me ask you something. Now, in Haiti, okay, in Haiti, when Christmas comes around, you know, here in the States, you've been here long enough to know that on Christmas Day you get up, and uh, of course we know it's Jesus' birthday, but uh, here in the States they give a lot of presents to one another. In Haiti, what would Christmas be like through your eyes? What would it be like if in Haiti, say you have friends in Haiti, um, or some of the folks, what would Christmas Day be like? Mostly say to praise God. To pray, uh -huh, to praise God. Mm -hmm. Would you get lots of toys and presents? No. In, in Haiti, no. Would you get one present? Yeah, maybe one present. Maybe one present that mm -hmm. someone would give you. Do you ever remember when we brought the Christmas joy bags? Well, I don't remember because I was four. Not there. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> right. On Christmas. Yeah, so she was so young, and so, yeah. yeah. So yeah. W one of the amazing things that we do now is we take Christmas joy bags. Yeah. That's another yeah. thing that churches can do if you're looking for something. Yeah. And basically what that does is supplement. Uh, we work very closely with Samaritan's Purse and the yes. shoeboxes. Uh -huh. uh, we personally will deliver 35,000 of Samaritan Purse shoeboxes throughout the country. Sure. But there are places that the shoeboxes cannot go just because of stipulations that Samaritan's Purse has. So what right. we do is we supplement that with our Christmas joy bags. Great. So you take a gallon yeah. bag and fill it up with whatever you're going to fill it up with uh and no stipulations on that and then we actually take those down and hand those out they in go haiti. To, yeah uh -huh. go to haiti right. and they go to all of our churches our schools our uh 
or, or, mm. or orphanages. And so all of the children, we make sure that they have at least that one bag. And, and you know, again, I, you know, I told, to my only because, you know, so many times here in our country, you know, we forget. I mean, you spend we, hours, yeah. hours yeah. opening up gifts. Yeah, that's why we first went to Haiti. Yeah. I was like, I'm sick and tired of it. And especially with my children, yeah. which again, that story's in the book. Uh, everyone considered them victims yeah. and so no matter where we went on Christmas it was a good hour and a half and plus you got five kids I mean they each get three gifts that takes two hours oh, to open right oh, yeah. and I was like I just don't think this is this is what God had in mind no, for no. us to celebrate for Christmas. Mm -hmm. I just don't think it no. and so now like what she said what do you do in Haiti mm -hmm. on Christmas you praise God yeah. Yeah. it's his birthday yep. and we talk about that a lot that it's kind of like what if I came to your birthday party but I brought Benny gifts how weird is that? Really? Kind of, yeah, very. It is. I mean, yeah. you know, it is. Yeah, so. and, and and you know, and, and the very fact that now you you're gonna now you're here now. She she got the student visa, right? Uh huh. So, and so. Uh, but we still spend every Christmas in Haiti, so she'll right. go now, back and get to others. What about this year? You going y'all going? Uh, back? so again, we are sort of on standby yeah. with everything right yeah. now. I was going to say, you see know. what happens with these Americans oh, and yeah, because uh, with the situation, and we're. We will not put anyone in jeopardy, no. and we will not purposely take a team down with uh, when things are not safe. No, you can't. We don't. I, I mean, you know, there's just times that we, you know, I've had to call off trips a couple of times in it's my It's very disappointing years. when you do oh, that. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Because people you, are ready. For the people there, for the people mm -hmm. who Everyone. want to go. Yeah. And, uh, and the last trip we had to cancel was our security trip. So huh. we had SWAT team members. Uh, prior police officers, military people that were really that were willing, really ready, and able to go. Mm -hmm. And then when we told them we had to call it off because of security, that made them matter because they just wanted to go more. They were like, "Are you kidding? This is yeah. what we trained for. We want to go." Yeah. And so yeah, it's tough. We were talking earlier about volunteers. There's always a great need for volunteers in in oh. the organization, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so you can volunteer on a daily basis. We have administrative things that need to be done. We have packages that need to go out. We have. I just had a. I I wish I had somebody to volunteer today to help me send out bracelet orders uh, to be able to pick those things up. So you can do that on a daily basis. If you have like a Tuesday from 10 to 2, you can come volunteer. We have our shoe ministry, and this is so yes. amazing. Yeah, Benny. tell them that, please. So our shoes, we collect old shoes, used shoes, shoes you just don't wear anymore. These shoes are then refurbished. They're sent to not only Haiti, but 27 different third world countries. Mm. And they provide entrepreneurial opportunities for women there. Mm. But this mm -hmm. is the mm -hmm. neatest mm -hmm. part. Radafka, who used to receive those shoes in Haiti in the orphanage, is now here in America, and she is now running our shoe ministry. Isn't that great? And collecting these <laughs> shoes, and now she's providing and taking care of getting oh those my. back to Haiti. So it is now providing a source of income for her oh. here in America, and she's providing the shoes that are going back to her brothers and sisters in Haiti. And so if a church is listening, and you just wanted to have a shoe collection yes. Sunday. <laughs> yes, that I mean, would be amazing. I mean, Radofka would love oh, that. So and, uh, and call listen. in, get in touch with me, and we'll wow. put you in touch. I I would love to see the, my closet and my house oh, yeah. get cleaned out. Right. And, uh, you know, some of you are listening out there, and uh, I know my see, wife is in others. And she's got at least five extra pairs of shoes that she doesn't need, right? And then plus we go, let me see your shoes. Did your mm -hmm. shoes come out of there? Or did you get Mine? these? You Most all of me. oh, I bought these for you. That was so sweet of me. It was Most so all sweet. of our shoes, we, we go through the donations yeah. first, and all the girls get to choose their but shoes. But the thing first, about so. it is, she's growing. Yeah. I mean, someone's like going to get that. It'll go I mean, in the donation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, absolutely. <laughs> so you can volunteer on a daily basis. You can volunteer with shoes. You can volunteer for Thanksgiving. Uh, and then we have our amazing Night of Hope that's on Thursday, December the 16th. And that is for children who have a parent incarcerated. Mm. Again, mm. that came from our around our dining room table because wow. the children, the ministry. five children that I raised, their parent was incarcerated. And so uh, that event is fabulous. And that's a great event mm. to uh, go ahead and mark on your calendar. December gets really full, mm. uh, but we need volunteers for that because we provide, this is the coolest thing. We go into the jails and we mm -hmm. talk with the inmates and we find out what exactly the inmate wants to get their child. And then we find out who has their child, who is the guardian parent. We get in touch with them. They come that evening. We do a big dinner. Mm. We present the gospel. We have entertainment. I believe you were the entertainment last year, weren't you? Mercy. Mercy. Micah. 
Do you remember when you and Samika sang? Yes. Do you remember what she did? I remember when Samika sang. Put me. That's right. She said, I remember when Samika sang because she grabbed the microphone away. I want to hear this girl sing. I, I do. Oh. I, want, I want to hear you. Listen, we're going to be back Sorry. on the other side at 9 o'clock. And uh, we've got so many prayer requests that have come in. Our prayer partners continue to stand by. I ask you, please, go to the phone. Now, come on. I mean, think about what we've said tonight volunteering, helping. It's just over in Livonia, Georgia. We've given you telephone numbers. We've given you snail mail addresses. We've given you email addresses. What more can we give you? And go to that phone, and if there are things that you would like just to share with Linda, go ahead. A prayer partner will be glad to take them down. I'll be praying for all of these at the close of our program tonight, so don't go anywhere. I want you to know that. And we're going to be back on the other side of 9 o'clock. Melinda's going to be there. Linda's going to be here. I'm going to be here. And uh, we're not going anywhere. So we're waiting on you, all right? Take you a quick break. I'm Pastor Benny. I'll see you on the other side of 9 o'clock. I'll be right back.